In this episode of Yankee Taker Outdoors, we're gonna take a look at the new battle box. Sit tight. Hey, what's going on? It's Matt. It is time to unbox this month's battle box. Uh, once again, I'm usually the last guy on the planet to get these things. However, I just don't care anymore. I love this box. Now, if you're not familiar with what it is, it's a monthly subscription box geared towards survival and tactical gear. Uh, there's a different level of subscriptions that you can get. The $24 is the basic box. Uh, you get a handful, a handful of gear in there and then all the way up to the 150 level, which is also known as the Pro Plus, aka the Knife of the Month Club. Now, right below me is the Pro Plus level. Uh, there's usually a wide variety of really practical and useful things, at least for me, uh, in these boxes. Last month, a lot of people weren't happy with the DOP kit. Yeah, it had some really questionable items in there, I would say, but this month is supposed to be a lot better, and it deals specifically with weather protection. Let's jump right into the box. On top, what we have here is the sit rep card. This is essentially everything that is in the box. The pricing that is listed next to it is what the estimated value of that on the back there is a letter from the CEO on how these things can be used. This sit rep is hell or high water. This obviously deals with outside elements and protecting yourself from weather. Now in this month's box they decided to give us a raincoat and what this card is is a redemption code and the reason why you're seeing the back side of it is is because my redemption code is on the other side and I actually feel like getting the coat. What it is, it's a rain jacket with a ton of pockets that you can stuff insulation if need be. Now, the reason why they did it this way is because they didn't want to guess everybody's sizes, and I think the time frame for them to get everybody's sizes correctly to the right person would have taken forever, and there would have been a lot of operator error. So I actually think it's a pretty neat way of doing it. When I get the jacket in three to four weeks, uh, I will basically put it on and show you guys. The value for that, though, was 50 bucks. Going into the rest of the box, there is a Frog Togs Packable Adult Poncho. So in here, obviously, is the poncho. Let's take it to the hose and see if it works. Yeah, so, you know, I don't know if you can see that. The water runs off really, really well. Ponchos typically are big. Frog Togs is a great company. Next, I'm pulling out of the box, this camo hat. All right, pretty cool. Looks like a little decent sun hat. Let's see if it fits me. Oh yeah, this will work. This will work. How do I look? Uh, I don't own any hats like this. I used to wear these a lot in college, actually, uh, probably because I wasn't in the right state of mind, so to speak. But um, these are great for keeping the sun off of the front part of your face, but also your neck and your ears. When you wear a baseball hat out in the sun, uh, those two, you know, the, the back of the neck and your ears are specifically prone to get sunburn. So this is great. I'll probably wear this fishing. In fact, when I saw the unboxing of this box on other channels, I was like, this has got a lot of practical stuff for fishing. So this will definitely be getting stuffed in the kayak. All right, next thing I see, Shamog. Now, I'm not going to unwrap this. Uh, this is the second time that BattleBox has given us a Shamog. Uh, what it really is, is it's a big giant scarf. It's the best way to kind of describe it for somebody who really doesn't know what it is. I, I will take it out. Uh, these are great. I mean, they keep the sun off of you. Uh, when it's cold out, you can basically use them as a neck scarf. But they're pretty much just one big giant piece of cloth uh, with a neutral pattern on it. This obviously is a desert sand. They're pretty cool. I mean, I know people who use these and hang these on the wall, which I think is something you would do in college, but whatever. Next up is some otter wax. Now, what this is, is this is a waterproofing agent. And a lot of waterproofing agents like Nick Wax, uh, if you're familiar with that, they're washing. So basically you would take a, a garment of clothing, you would pour the Nick Wax into the washing machine, uh, follow the instructions, and then when you, when you put it through the dryer system, uh, or you hang dry it, or you put it into the actual you know tumble dry, uh, they'll come out waterproof. This is a little bit of a different approach. This is specifically for fabrics. It's a wax, and what you would do is, you would take this, let's just use a shemog for example, 
and you would literally just go like that and water would sheet off of that now it's not a hundred percent waterproof nothing really is um, not unless it's made by Gore-Tex and it's tape seamed and all that jazz and that's when you get into the hundreds of hundreds of dollars but this is a practical item for me uh, I will actually use this on some garments nothing that I would wear possibly a backpack or possibly some shoes so maybe I would wear them next up we have some yak tracks now these interestingly enough I was actually looking at buying a pair of these these are what I would consider a casual crampon uh, these are great for walking in the snow they're great for walking in mud they slide over your shoe like that and they give you extra traction on the ground uh, when it's slippery or when it's wet outside uh, really welcome to me in this box because I was thinking about buying a pair uh, being where we live in Northern California we don't need them necessarily in the valley but when I go up skiing or hiking these are great to have they're lightweight they pack down really small great addition to throw in your backpack your day pack when you're going on a day hike oh I've seen this before this is the Joshua tree this is the winter stick the wind protection got this in a Karen box I actually have it still in my bag this is great uh, essentially you know you really don't need it right now because it is the summertime you need more of a sun protectant but in the winter months when the wind is blowing uh, it can really really just chap up your face and really burn it to an extent so great to have already own it but never have too much of protection right oh look at this monster this is lip balm this is huge um this is the duke cannon cannon balm 140 hydrate and repair this has an spf I'll probably throw this in the kayak as well. I mean, it's huge. Got a minty kind of smell to it. But once again, you saw in the other videos that I've done on what I bring on the kayak, I have a ton of different kinds of sun protection. I have suntan lotion, I have sun spray, uh, I have tons of lip balm. I just have a ton of this stuff. And honestly, more is welcome. Deck shell. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, what size is this? This is a large. I own a pair of deck shells. Now, deck shells are waterproof and breathable. And they're not supposed to let water in. In my experience with deck shell socks, is that they let water in. And what I'm going to do is, we're going to take this to the hose as well. Let's go! Okay, so I have both of the socks on. It actually says waterproof on there. These are a large. I'm at 11 and a half. They fit perfectly, so I'm pretty happy about that. But let's see. Foot is still dry. Still dry. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. These are the real deal. My foot is bone dry. Oh, these are fantastic. So this is going on the kayak too as well, especially especially in the colder months. And lastly in the box is the knife. And this is a honking knife. Look at the size of this knife. This is a SOG knife. This is the Kiku satin folder in a large. Now, the blade on this is just fantastic. Uh, I will have to look at the specs, but it's a high quality steel. My car to handles, I can tell. There is uh, jimping actually worked into the micarta. It is a liner lock knife. The blade on this is, I, I would say, four inches. I'm sorry, it's 4.6 inches long. This is my largest folder, and it's, it's badass. Uh, one of the things that SOG is really, really good about on their knives, and I'll do another knife video sometime next week about all the SOGs that I own, but their pocket clips are the best in the industry, in my opinion. They're always a deep carry. There's a lanyard hole right there as well. But this knife, I mean, I don't even know what to call that blade. 
Uh, I could look at the card again, but I just don't want to. This is an amazing, an amazing knife. It's not light. This is perfect for my hand. This is beautiful. Now, the value listed on this knife is 150 bucks. And honestly, I would say that it is worth 150 bucks. And the price of the box is 150 bucks. In fact, the total value for this particular month's box is $358. Look, say what you will about BattleBox, um, but you know, their subscription value is there every single month. Now, last month was a little questionable because it had a lot of kitschy things in it, like the deodorant and the tank scrubber and stuff like that, but nine times out of 10, I mean, they just really gave you some quality items. Uh, like I said, there's also a rain jacket. Uh, even though they gave us the poncho, ponchos are a little bit different than a rain jacket. The rain jacket is supposed to be pretty innovative because it has the ability to stuff, you know, whatever, maybe leaves or, you know, any kind of newspaper, anything you could use for insulation in that situation. This is, but I'm, I'm enamored by the knife. I'm really happy about this. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a big like, subscribe, share this video, comment below, let me know everything else. I'll put a link down below too, to where you can get your own very, battle, your own very, 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 your very own battle box. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.